Buying a used mini excavator. Inspection tips part 3. The next step is to inspect the track by shifting the boom to one side and anchoring it with the bucket. Lift the excavator and drive the elevated track now. The track should be able to spin easily and devoid of dry rot, missing sections, or cuts. Reverse the technique for the other track, then examine the undercarriage closely once more. The small excavator's backup alarm and smooth control should also be examined, which can be done by pushing the machine forward and backward, and then rotating it left and right. Rotating the house by approximately 25% of a turn can also be used to assess the machine's play. While you are in the driver's seat, you may learn a lot about the little excavator. To begin, ensure that the seat is in good working order, that it adjusts entirely, and that the seat belt is in working order. Examine the horn, lights, and gauges to ensure they are in good working order. Check the window wipers, door latches, air conditioning, and other components of enclosed cab machinery. Request an oil sample history and machine maintenance records after all of these inspections have been completed satisfactorily. Before making a final decision, you should conduct a quick market survey to get a sense of the current prices of products from various brands. We have been offering a wide range of heavy equipment, including excavators, ballast regulators, tool carriers, and much more, for more than a decade at exceptionally competitive rates. If you require any advice with the purchase or rental of used compact excavators, please contact our experts. For more information call 214-773-0207 or visit selliarconstructionequipment.com.